Hello everyone. Thank you for clicking on my channel. My name is Catherine and I'm here to do your reading. I'm from Northern Canada. Um, this side is going to be <laughs> the significant other and from this over it will be yourself. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit the like button for me. Make a comment if any of this resonates with you. Let me get to know you a little better. Anyway, let's get on with the reading. In the first position where they had the, the page of wands, you had the Queen of Cups. So this is usually a, a good news, joyful messages. You know, like, guess what? This is bringing good news. The Queen of Cups is... Oh, kind, emotional, generous, empathic, psychic, intuitive. This actually gets quite interesting because, um, oh, well, I'll show you when the clarifying cards come up. Uh, when I was laying these out and then pulling up clarifying cards, at first I was getting a little confused and then it started to make sense. In the position where you have the hangman in reverse, they have the Six of Swords. You're feeling very stuck, and they just want to move you to calmer waters. They want to quiet the waters, unstuck you, so that you will decide what you need to decide. Where they had the chariot, you had the empress. So they want to move. They want to move quickly. They want to move decisively. They see you as the, the empress. Or you have the empress energy. You feel the em empress energy. You're very kind and loyal, fertile. You're birthing some new ideas. Where they, you had the <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles, they had the King of Pentacles. So, you're either telling them, slow down, I, I need time, or they're just moving so slow that that's the way you see them, slow moving. In the meantime, they have the King of Pentacles. Ah. Uh, Decisive, stable, abundant. And where you have the wheel of fortune, because this is your destiny. This is about your destiny. Whether it is with this person or not is yet to be found out. But you have the wheel of fortune. Uh, you're causing that wheel to turn, or the universe has decided to start turning it for you. On their side, they're coming across as a little harsh. Uh, maybe, I know that the, the King of Swords is very, you know, professional, intelligent, um, decisive. Uh, you know, his authority is never questioned. But... You're seeing him, or her, sorry. You're not sure if this is the direction you, you can even move in, because it is so strict. My way or the highway? You're just trying to move forward. You're just trying to get on with your life. And I'm seeing, feeling very strongly, these barriers. Uh, in fact, this whole thing, I get the feeling that they are putting barriers up to slow you down. Hoping that with time, you'll see things their way. 
but you'll understand their dilemma. So to clarify the Queen of Cups, this became very interesting. You're afraid that if you drink from this cup, this will happen again. Whatever it was, it was extremely, extremely painful. You paid a karmic debt with this relationship. Something from your past or a past life or a past life with them, there was some karma involved. This does not mean that they are not, you know, a soulmate or a twin flame. It doesn't mean that. It just means that for whatever reason, this person came into your life at exactly the right time because the universe felt it was it was time to level you up. You were ready for the next step up spiritually. So they came into your life. And there was deep love, but there was a karmic debt. Something from your past. Something from a past life. In their position, now this really got interesting. They want to be your king of cups to your queen of cups. Their message is sharp, clear. Um, a new beginning. They want a new beginning. They want to fly like an eagle with you. So this also has to do with freedom. They want their freedom. They want it to start in truth. And, and truly, I think they want your freedom too. But not in a freedom as, um, you know, let's try other partners. I don't get that. I do see that there is freedom involved here, but in a very good way. So they're just going to just <laughs> be persistent. Be persistent that they want to be this in your life. They want to be the king of cups to your queen of cups. And they will persist. They're not uh, They're not giving up. There's no way they're, they're cutting to the chase. If they haven't cut to the chase yet, they're about to. Is it an offer? Hmm. Is it a heart-to-heart -heart discussion? Hmm. For your hangman stuck. There you are, stuck. If you took a leap of faith, is this what it will lead to? Or will you be tricked? Will there be deception? Are you deceiving yourself? You're stuck. You... I, I know in many readings I've... I've seen a two of swords, you know, or you're not wanting to make a decision and you have to make a decision. And that's all fine and dandy. But in this case, you're not ready to make a decision. And I don't think you need to make a decision. Let's continue and I'll show you why. At least not right now. You need to just look after yourself. They want to move you to calmer waters. They see you as... They admire you. They admire your independence. You're vivacious. They see you as their... Ace of Pentacles. You're the one for them. You're absolutely the one for them. And they feel very strongly about that. Your Empress card. Turned up. The Page of Wands. And you see? The Page of Wands was on their side. They want to come through forth. With a clear truth. They want to be your king of cups to your queen of cups. Here you are looking at them. Thinking that maybe their approach was a little immature or childish. 
Maybe they just don't have a way with words. Maybe they're just really gruff. They're used to not showing, you know, emotions. I mean, the King of Cups is a beautiful man, but he does have his emotions in check. He's full of love and passion and compassion and fairness and gentility even. There's a gentle side to this person, but their emotions, it's something that I think they've always had, uh, maybe from something of the past or their own experiences of keeping their emotions in check. So you're considering their offer, you're looking at them and scratching your head. You want justice. You just want what's right. You know, are they right? You don't think. I think it's a case of, even though they're saying these things, their actions confuse you. You just want what's right. You don't want to be deceived. Let me look at this. Bear with me. Okay. You're looking at this almost like these are unrealistic expectations of you. You disagree with them. Spiritually, your, your views are conflicting. Yeah, that does make sense. That does make sense. Where your empress was here, they had the chariot. They want to move forward definitively. This is how they're feeling. Depressed, sad, remorseful, regretful. This movement forward is being stymied. The wheel of fortune is in reverse. They want it upright. It's depressing them. They can't seem to get it to move forward. But whether it's upright or not, they're going to force a move. Now where you had the wheel of fortune, and they had the king of swords. I'm going to go that way. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. All right. You want to move forward. You want a harvest. But in moving forward, you you moved away from the situation. You moved back. You took, you took a step back. But up here where the Page of Wands is taking a look at that offer, it's like you're being shown, hey, even though you deserted us, you deserted the project, you deserted the idea, or you've walked away from what we were, we thought we were building, and you're looking back and seeing there's still five pentacles there waiting for you. This person can't move on. And he's, she, they are holding on to those pentacles for you in case you come back. You see those pentacles. You see that they're trying. But there's this stalemate. But you are moving forward. You're not exactly sure which direction you're going, but you are moving. <laughs> In their case, it is, uh, and by the way, moving really slow because you have the uh, Knight of Pentacles. So you're moving, but moving really slow. And... You got another Knight of Pentacles to uh, clarify that. Now, this could be them. You could be looking at them saying, you got you, you my friend, or you, my, my darling, are slow like molasses. And I've been waiting a long time. See, you're moving forward, even if it's slowly. You're looking at what they are offering, temperance. Balance, patience with this slow-moving energy. 
you want to slow them down or they're just really slow temperance balance patience waiting even manifesting working on yourself getting a handle on emotions logic getting a balance foot on the ground foot in the water you're you're finding your balance and you're going slow because ten of wands in reversed you're very fearful you're afraid this will break you if you go back into this relationship that it will break you you're very fearful but on their side where you are the knight of pentacles and they are the king of pentacles you know what that's incorrect it was upright i'm sorry guys but i was fiddling with these cards earlier putting them back because i recorded earlier and found out that my microphone wasn't even on i was almost done the reading so i had to start all over again this was actually in the upright so they're in pause they're not going to reveal their whole hand yet but they really want to they want to show you this is what i see for our future this is what we can have this is what i'm going to move towards but not quite yet either because you're slowing them down or they've paused because um They're afraid of your reaction. But they're firm. Unchangeable. In whatever is going on between the two of you, there's something unchangeable. Something that's happened that can't be undone. Something that's seen that can't be unseen. And no compromise. In fixing it but this king of swords he knows he's being harsh this person knows that but they feel it's necessary they feel it's necessary because there are some things that they just can't or won't change a situation that exists that has to be accepted for what it is. They are really, we're up here, They we see remorse, guilt, depression. They're up at night. I, I get the feeling, you know, they've even, they've even cried over this situation. They've prayed for help to make it right. They're, they're juggling. They think they can continue to juggle. They think they can do this. They are a person that have a lot of people around them, a lot of people that depend on them. And they're juggling all of their responsibilities quite successfully. But then we came up with this snag. Something happened in this relationship. It broke both your hearts. Could have been this third party situation. They're trying to manifest that ability to stay this in this position where they can have it all. It is extremely important to them. And it's breaking their heart. It's breaking their heart. Their heart was broken. Your heart was broken. They know they broke your heart. They feel horrible about it. But at the same time, they think you're being unreasonable. They want to offer you that cup. So look at that heart just fell over. You know, let's get rid of that broken heart. Okay. They want to offer you that cup. They want to move towards that king and queen of cups. 
be the king of pentacles and stop this slow moving molasses energy but at the same time they know it's necessary to go slow because literally time needs to be a factor here time for wounds to heal it may take days weeks months years I have such an overwhelming sadness in my heart when I look at this. Wanting to do this, knowing that, and they're trying very hard to manifest it. They're strategizing. They're trying everything that they can. They're pulling out of their hat just, just to make this happen so that you will drink from the king's cup. And they're approaching it in a very um, unemotional way. They're hiding their emotions, I should say. This is very important to them. Whatever it is you're asking them to give up, there's some kind of a snag. There's some kind of a something that you're not seeing or they're not seeing. And it's possible that you could see this, understand it, support it, but their actions aren't matching with their words or they haven't found the right way to help you understand what this is all about. You don't want crumbs. You don't want to be second to anything. But room needs to be made for something Or that door needs to be shut. After looking at all these cards and my heart feeling so heavy about it, I wanted to pull up one more card. And this came up. Ace of Water. Ace of Cups. Love overflowing. You too are destined. This is destiny at work here. Destiny preparing the both of you for both of your uh, destinies. And I think that destiny involves the two of you being together. Though I don't see how that's possible here. I pulled up from the romance cards and what came up was playfulness. So all this pain and, and stuff you have to... Sorry, guys. I hate interruptions. I'm so sorry about that. Um, it's pretty much impossible for you to ignore what's going on. But because of these cards here that you know you're moving forward very slowly but moving forward looking for your looking for your happiness your harvest Oops, sorry guys harvest you're looking for that harvest and not necessarily with this person you're just trying to maintain your own stability moving you know destiny is at play here this is a destiny card moving Be playful. I would not even suggest that you too need to discuss the problem. I think you've discussed it to death. You need to, I don't know, I, not start over, but you do need to detach. I don't think this person is someone you can they want to be playful with you. They want that energy that you have to be directed with them. So I asked the fairies 
What's this all about? What's this what's this coming to? What is the the final outcome of this? And I got the four of spring, which is, you know, it's the same as the four of wands. It's happy home, happy life, happy love, a unison. Um, unity, I should say, unison. I don't even know if that's a word. Unity, it's working in harmony, like an orchestra, a symphony orchestra. Like just having it all, having it all. That happiness that you were searching for in your wheel of fortune you're looking back at the five of pentacles that are left see that little flower i believe that's the significant other keeping that flower alive holding on to those no don't anybody pick those pentacles off the tree that belongs to my love and that's all i've got left and i'm surprised the miser card didn't come up holding on to what he's got left, what she's got left, they've got left. And then the Empress came up. So the final outcome is, whether it is this person or not, I think it is, you're going to, and I don't know how long is this going to take, guys. I'm, I'm feeling there's a lot of time involved here. But this is where you're going. This is what you're going to have. And you will be an empress in your own home. You will not share that throne with anyone else. It's there for you. You'll be fertile, abundant, giving, receiving, nurturing. This is like, a, this is more than a queen. Like, this is the empress. She runs empires with her emperor. We got three kings that showed up on their side. Empress and uh, queen of cups on your side. How beautiful is that? They're, they're moving towards that emperor energy, which maybe uh, I think is probably good that that didn't show up because the emperor can be very stubborn too. But the emperor also looks like, I think it was in yesterday's reading or the day before, that he's looking at, he's got his armor on, he's ready to protect what he loves. And he just he just wants that empress in, in the mix. Where's my empress? Or vice versa. This could be, this could be reversed, that side being them, this side being you. Yeah. Guys, I hope you got something out of that. Please hit the subscribe, hit the like, make a comment. Feed me a little here. And thank you so much for joining me. See you soon. And God bless.